Hello, my name is Professor John Benjamin, and this is part two in an introduction to After Effects. So we left off last time where we animated our logo and we added a background. So I don't really like this color, so let's go ahead and change the color to this background. So in order to do that, I'm going to select that solid and <clears throat> then I'm going to come up to uh, layer and what will appear now is my solid settings. All right, and so then I can click here, and I think I'd like to make this a, a lighter color. So something, actually, I'm just gonna go with white. I think that white is gonna work. All right, so we're gonna hit okay, and then that's gonna stay there. And I can lock that if I will. And now when I export this, I'll have a white background. So let's animate a couple of more um, features of our logo. So let's go ahead and open up the logo, and you can see we've got our X and Y positions here um, that we use the graph editor for. Now let's try a rotation. So I want to make sure that my rotation starts a little bit before, let's say, it starts to move, right? So I'm going to put this here. It's a little bit before five frames. It's at four frames. And I'm going to click on the stopwatch for rotation. And then I'm going to move my CTI up just past um, these, um, these other two um, keyframes. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the diamond here for rotation. And what I want to do is have it roll forward just a little here. So I'm going to scrub that. And then I'm going to go back to the initial keyframe and I'm going to have it roll backwards quite a bit, like so. All right, and let's play that through. All right, and that kind of overshot the mark because of, of its speed. All right, so now we're going to go back and and I'm just going to sort of have it maybe just roll a little bit. Let's try that. Oh, and I should point out again that we have to wait for our cache to fill in order for the playback to um, play back fully. All right, now let's try that. All right, that's a pretty good little roll. Um, it starts off and then it rolls a little bit and then it kind of ends like that. But I think what we can do is, is we can give this some um, graph editor as well. Now there's an easier, quicker way um, than graph editor. You can just select both of the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, and say easy ease. Now you don't have much control over this, but it's a quick way to get the same thing done. So if we play that through, it gets a little bit more natural. All right, let's do one more. Let's do opacity. So let's come down here, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the right keyframe. I'm going to start opacity with the rotation. So I want to have those lined up here. I'm going to hit opacity. I'm going to move to the last rotation keyframe and then I'm going to add an opacity keyframe. And what I want to have it do is move from transparent to solid. So I move back to the first keyframe, scrub this to zero, and now we should be good. Let's play that through. All right, that's a pretty um, interesting and lifelike um, logo that sort of appears and rolls and um, and then stops. All right, very good. I'll see you in the next episode.